Hi, and welcome to the Ray Diving Channel. Today I will show you an easy way to use the Paddy Dive table, and this is going to be good for those taking the e-learning at home, and then the quick review when you meet with your instructor for your in-water training. I will start by showing you the parts of the dive table. Here we have table number one on the front, the nodded compression limits and group designation table. Across we have table number two, surface interval, credit table, in this area. On the back of the table we have uh, table number three, repetitive dive time table. And before we go into the examples, I would like you to know these uh, terms. If you don't know the meaning of these terms, uh, I would encourage you to go back to your e-learning and make sure that you know the meaning of these terms. The dive profile, node compression limits, bottom time, repetitive dive, surface interval, and pressure group. Okay, let's start working with some examples and for that I'm going to ask you to grab pen and paper so you can keep track of all numbers and letters. Question number one says, what is the node compression limit for a dive to 52 feet? We're going to start uh, readily with uh, table number one, find the depth on top and uh, it's a 55 feet so you're going to round up to 60, go down the column to find the knock the compression limit and you will see that it's uh, 55 minutes. That would be the answer to the first question, very straightforward. Write that down in your piece of paper, please. Now moving on to the question number two, which says after a dive to 50 feet for 53 minutes, the pressure group is... Naturally, we're going to start on table number one find the depth, in this case 50 feet, we're going to move down the column, find the time, 53, follow the arrow to the right and you will find the letter Q and that is the pressure group and that is the answer to that question. Please write it down and let's move into question number three now. Question number three says two divers make one dive at 80 feet for 27 minutes, then remain out of the water for one hour and 10 minutes then make a second dive for, to 55 feet for 35 minutes. What is the ending pressure group after the second dive? Okay, this is uh, two dive, this is the dive profile. If you have your paper and pen with you, please write this down. Do the dive profile to keep track of all numbers. And let's begin on table number one as usual. Find the depth 80 feet, go down the column to find the dive time, which is 27 move to the, to the right following the arrow to find the pressure group after the first dive in this case is the letter P pressure group P write it down first dive P uh, move to the right keep moving to the right uh, into the second table the surface interval in this table table number two uh, surface interval every little box is a range of time so Please find the box that contains 1 hour and 10 and then move down the column to find the pressure group after the surface interval, that's going to be D. Uh, flip the chart to table number 3. We are entering the water for the second dive as a D diver and our second dive is to 55 feet, so round up to 60. So intersect now uh, 60 and D and you will find two numbers, Y1 in the Y area the residual nitrogen time and the other one in the blue area the adjusted node compression limit uh, the limit uh, in this case is going to be 39 which is good you are within uh, the limits you are going to be only for 35 minutes for the second dive the residual nitrogen time in the Y area it has to be added to the actual bottom time uh, so please do that in your piece of paper in this case, add 16 minutes residual nitrogen time to the 35 minutes actual bottom time. Now we have 51 minutes total bottom time, and this is the information that we need to figure out the pressure group at the end of the second dive. So find the depth on table number one, 60 feet. Go down the column to find uh, 51 minutes. You're going to round up to 52 minutes and move, that, move to the right hand side and find the pressure group U and that's going to be the answer. Let's move to our final question, question number four, which says a team of divers plans to make two dives. The first dive is to 70 feet for 36 minutes. The second dive is to 60 feet for 41 minutes. How long do they have to stay on the surface, minimum surface interval, to do these two dives safely? 
First, this is how the dive profile looks like. We have the two dives, 70 feet, 36, and second dive, 60 feet, 41 minutes. What's the surface interval, the minimum surface interval? So we start normally at uh, 70 feet on the first table. Uh, we find the time, follow the arrow to the right to find the letter the for the pressure group. In this case, it's gonna be uh, R. Uh, we don't have the, uh, the surface interval, so, but we have the information for the second dive. So you, we're going to skip table number two and flip the chart to no, table number three. And we have that the second dive is to 60 feet for 40, 41 minutes. So let's uh, find uh, 60 feet on the, on the left hand side and find 41 minutes uh, on the blue area, on the blue number to find this, the, the pressure group at the end of the surface interval. So in this case it's going to be C. And uh, so that's what we need. Now we have the two pressure groups, the one before the surface interval, the one after the surface interval. All we have to do now is uh, go to table number one and intersect those two pressure groups pressure group r and pressure group c so that's the one and uh, we're gonna find that the minimum surface interval is gonna be a uh, 125 and that's the correct answer to that final exercise that was an easy way to work with the die planner i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please let me know if you have any questions you can post your questions below here or you can email me those who are enrolled in my class uh, you know my email thank you for watching and i hope this was helpful thank you